Hello everyone, welcome back for more Let's Play Lagoon. We are either at the next to last or last video. Not sure which yet. We'll see how long it takes me to get past this guy, as there's, again, a fair bit of luck involved in beating this boss. But, yeah, we are at the end game. And this guy... Who yells at us that we have come far, but he can't let us go any further. Soon, the great evil spirit will rise. Your head will decorate Lord Thor's throne. Hopefully they have a good preservation spell, because the soft tissue's just gonna go right away. You know, never mind. So this guy actually is really easy to beat, but there's a good bit of luck involved in beating him. And no, that's not a good spot. You don't want him directly south of the, uh, of the little hidey hole here. The only thing you're going to get pelted here, pelted by here, are those little... That's a good spot. Get out of there. And then we need him to get to a... No, not there. Yeah. And that's one enemy down. He's actually just really easy as long as you realize you can stand in that little spot back there. And his name's Battler. But we get nothing for directly defeating him except the way forward. Nope, can't save here. But we can save... You know, here, I hope. Because it doesn't look like we have anywhere to go, does it? Well, much like in the clouds, jump! Doesn't look like it's a place, does it? It is, it just doesn't look like it. So anyway, welcome to the secret place. Where we have this tile over here, which lets us go back to the castle, if for any reason we have any desire to do so. Like, you know, grinding levels on enemies, even though you can do it here. But you know. If there's anything you missed in the castle, and it's entirely possible, you can go back there. You probably shouldn't have to, but you never know. It could come in useful. So anyway, let's see if anybody in here has anything to say worthwhile. One old... It looks like an old elf. Okay. So, yeah. Bad stuff has gone down. Zara revived evil spirit. Zara and Thor must be in the secret place underneath the castle. Please hurry. But at the south of the stairs... There is an entrance to go back to the castle. For any reason, you need to? Go figure. So let's go to the secret place, shall we? The secret place actually looks like a big cave network. It's not fun to navigate the first time. It's not fun to navigate the second time either, but you know. There are enemies... If I recall this place correctly, there are, like, enemies in every little section here. and They're not nice. So we go this way, and they can follow you through those doors. But we are strong enough to deal with them directly. And there's one thing we want to get in this cave. You may have noticed that our equipment is short a ring. There's a ring. It's not one we will get any use out of, I don't believe. Oh, goody, you showed up. I didn't want you to show up. That little thing, it's quick and actually hard to hit, so you're better off just not actually trying to, you know, deal with it. 
Let's see, I believe. Go around this little chunk here. Yeah, this is looking about right. Then we go over here. Ignore the sprinting demon thing. Things. Well, it's not going to let us. Die. Without killing me in the process. We get a time ring. The time ring serves one purpose. It freezes everything in the area except bosses, which means as long as you wear it and you have magic to your name, you know, you have magic still left, everything in the area will stop moving. This can be good for many reasons. Can be. Doesn't mean it necessarily will be. But you know. Go away. Troll. Yeah, I landed there. So where am I? Oh, I didn't go far enough over. That's what I didn't do. That could be really bad. Well, it looks like I've got a clear spot here. Going to regen. Because you notice these enemies may not do a ton of damage, but, you know, no sense in... No sense in walking around with less than full hit points if I have no reason to. I know, it's not fun watching me just stand here, but I would rather just stand here than I would, you know, get slaughtered halfway across. Let's go ahead and save, since we are about the halfway point to this cave, really. We've gotten the one item that's in here, and yes, they did make it difficult to map this out on purpose. Just like every in-game dungeon ever, they've got to make it somewhat difficult. I suppose there are a few in-game dungeons that aren't necessarily hard to navigate. <sighs> but, you know. I don't need any more experience. Okay, free and clear here for a moment. Actually, you know, instead of regening here, I did save recently enough. don't want to use my magic. More of them and less of the little black things. And there we are at the end door. So, I'm going to pause for a minute, because behind that end door is, well, a boss rush. I ain't ready for a boss rush. Not with this low health. So I've got to stand here and recharge. While I stand here and recharge, I'm going to pause the video. Back in a second. Okay. I do believe I am ready to end this. So let's go.
boss rush time. Pretty much haven't seen any of these bosses before either. Yeah. He didn't get a hit box, or he didn't get a hit point marker. But his friend does. He is not difficult. However, what's coming up could easily end me. Not what's immediately coming up, but the next part will require a little bit of luck on my part and hope that I don't use both my major healing items. I probably will, but even if I do, I've got a backup. But it's time to face off against Zera and Thor. Not too wild about it, really. Just, just if I must be honest here. Okay. Really. That wasn't me. He brought the evil spirit come back to life. Uh-huh. Sure. Blame me for your problems. Well, what you did. turns into that. Which dies fairly easily. However... Uh-huh. I don't want to fight you! This is not the Thor I know! Do I really have to fight you? Yes. He's going to make this difficult, too. Okay. Now that we've gotten rid of human Thor, I know that was very that happened very quickly, but it needed to or else I was going to lose a lot of life there. Yeah, either one of these. Let's go ahead and equip yeah, let's go ahead and equip the uh, armor ring here. So unfortunately you just kinda get pummeled right at the beginning of that. With some luck, I will be able to finish him off soon. Oh, too close. Had to use the elixir or else I was going to die. Might still die. Before my magic is completely gone. Yeah. We will equip that. Okay, I got him with the life ball. I still have the life ball. That means there's a very good chance I'm going to end this in a good way. But first, story time. Did it take it off? Might have. Yes, it did. Okay. Good. Because we've got some story to get through before we go fight 
the ultimate final final boss of this rush. I know I haven't explained anything. That's because everything happens a little too quickly and you can't save in any of these rooms. It won't let you. So anyway, see so watch. Save? No, you cannot save. Because you're stuck in boss rooms. Yeah. So anyway, let's talk to Thor's presumable corpse now. And it's going to kind of advance the text at its own pace here. I don't have much to say. He's not alright. He's got several sword... You know, several sword slashes all over his torso. We kind of did that. That's a good thing to be sorry about, Thor. It really is. Well, you know, to be truthful, you were kind of under someone else's control. Remember the pendant? The one we had to go get at Volo. So for once, they actually tie things together. What happened? A miracle happened. Because the secret place has power. That's good. Oh wait, no it's not. We now have... You know, that's a phylactery. You a lich. Eh, well, whatever. Yep, you are now judge, jury, and executioner of this world. Well, you're gonna have to. Buck up. And we now have Thor's Pendant. So... The last boss should be easy. Should be real easy. And as soon as I beat it, we're going into the finale. I mean, that will be the final boss, so we get all in credits and stuff, but as soon as we beat it, I will cut the mic and let you witness the glory of at least the, you know, closing scene here. But... I'm going to equip the Cure Ring, then run down into the room, because this thing, it will steadily drain our magic, but it will constantly refill our hit points. Between that and having the Life Ball, which you only get one of in the game, and it's very important to hopefully keep it this long, you know, the Life Ball will instantly refill your, uh, your entire life bar if you hit zero, so you don't have to activate it or anything. But anyway, let's go beat up the evil spirit. Awesome music time, go! Okay, you. Jerk. And I didn't even need it. But, that is the final boss defeated. And it still refills our hit points and magic points. But yeah, we are just about to the ending. So, I will just kind of let you enjoy without my voice, because the music's awesome now.
So, did you get all that? Yeah, I, I don't really know how to uh, properly explain what happened there. I'm probably just as confused as anyone. I was confused when I beat this game over 20 years ago, and I'm still confused now. It doesn't really explain much. You get the bases there, but... Princess there because she has some mystical power and it's never really explored and Thor is the two eye, you know, the different colored eyes thing is just kind of there because this game really, really wants to be anime. But yeah, that was Lagoon. I actually like this game. I have no taste apparently, but yeah, it, it's got a charm to it. It's flawed as... It's probably the most flawed game I actually enjoy, I will say that. Maybe? No, Fester's Quest is probably more flawed than this one from several standpoints. And I like that game too. But, uh... Yeah, I, I mean, I know for most people, probably a pretty bland game. I mean, I won't lie, it's not the it's not going to excite everyone. It's not going to excite anyone, really, except maybe me and a few other people who really, really, you know, grew up with this game or just remember playing it back, you know, in the early 90s and having fun with it before I could afford an entire Super Nintendo library. And, but yeah... The music is amazing. Other than that, I can't really recommend any good points, but yet I still like this game. And yes, I'm fully aware of all its flaws. I've gone over them. The poor translation, the very much missing story, the complete lack of any real character development at all. You're the hero and you stay that way through the game and you're not really... I mean, you have the quick bit in there about fighting Thor, but it's... It's a guy you just met. You know, a third the way through the game. And somehow you're supposed to, you know, have bonded with him or so. I know, this game has major, major problems. But anyway. Thank you to everyone who's still watching you know, through all the 14 videos, I think. I think I got 14 out of this game. Huh. I think I'd have to look again. But anyway, thanks for joining me for this. Next time, I promise it'll be a game more people actually enjoy than just me. So anyway, take care, folks. I will see you back next time for more.